I'm Brent Gardner, and this is the NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, March 27th. Here with today's first story is correspondent Krista Cup. Thanks, Brent. Last Thursday, March 19th, a federal district court in Washington, D.C. granted an anti-gun plaintiff's preliminary injunction against implementation of the new rule that would allow law-abiding citizens to defend themselves by carrying a concealed firearm in national parks and wildlife refuges. In the ruling, federal district court judge Colleen Collar Cotelli issued the preliminary injunction against the Department of the Interior rule that took effect on January 9, 2009. The revised rule allowed individuals to carry concealed firearms for self-defense in national parks and national wildlife refuges that were located in states that allowed the carrying of concealed firearms. The day after the ruling came down, NRA filed a notice of appeal in federal district court to oppose the preliminary injunction. NRA ILA Executive Director Chris W. Cox said, NRA is moving aggressively to protect this common sense rule and that's why we filed the notice of appeal today. Just as we did not give up in the fight to change the old, outdated rule, we will not give up our fight in the courts to defend the rule change. We will pursue every legal avenue to defend the American people's right of self-defense. Until further notice, individuals cannot legally carry loaded concealed firearms for personal protection in national parks and wildlife refuges. We will be sure to keep you posted on any new developments in this case. And now, back to you, Brent. Thanks, Krista. Last Wednesday, in a letter to Attorney General Eric Holder, 65 Democrats in the U.S. House of Representatives, led by Congressman Mike Ross of Arkansas, expressed their opposition to the reinstatement of the failed 1994 ban on semi-automatic firearms and ammunition magazines. These congressmen cited numerous studies that proved that the 1994 ban was ineffective, and they strongly urged Attorney General Holder to stop his effort to ban guns and instead focus on the enforcement of existing gun laws. NRA ILA would like to thank Congressman Ross for his leadership on this effort. We will continue to work with members of Congress from both parties on this important issue. To find the letter that was sent to Attorney General Holder and to get up-to-date legislative alerts, please visit our website at www.nraila.org. <laughs>